So, one thing that I really want to do more of here on Comic Drake is talk about indie comics, but with the way that things are currently set up, people don't really click on anything that isn't Marvel or DC. So I'm trying out something new with this video series right here, where they're reading recommendations. And I figured, what better place to start than with my favorite comic book series of all time, Invincible. Now, you guys have heard me talk about Invincible before, and it might be pompous to say, but I think that I'm probably one of the biggest Invincible fanatics on the planet. Got my favorite single issues and just all these all these trade paperbacks and I got I got this art pr print and then I got this official art print autographed by Ryan Otley my favorite artist of all time god god invincible is like my favorite comic book series and honestly I think that it is the best fictional work ever. So for those of you who haven't heard me gush about Invincible before, let me tell you why it's definitely worth reading, even though at the time of this recording, the series is about to end after over 10 years of writing, which is just sad. Very, very sad. Invincible is a deconstruction of the superhero genre, and while it starts off very sky-high-like and the art isn't always the best, it definitely evolves in both art and storytelling over time. It becomes one of the goriest comics I've ever read, and Invincible is a series that's based on plot twists and reveals, but that sounds like it can mess up very easily because it can be a little, you know, stupid or clickbaity or just pandering stuff like that but every single reveal and every single plot twist is actually huge and has major repercussions throughout the entire invincible universe and it's ugh, so good for those of you guys that don't know invincible is written by robert kirkman the same guy that wrote the walking dead yeah that's how you know that he is just an amazing talent. He's also my favorite writer, so maybe I'm a little biased because he did Invincible, Walking Dead, Irredeemable Ant-Man, Outcast, Thief of Thieves, just all these great books. He's so talented, and I love the way that he does storytelling. Just... Ugh. Everything that I love about superhero comics is simplified, but also not in Invincible. Whereas a lot of comic book universes, they get too big and bulky because they have all these different characters from all these different books interacting. Invincible has the same scope of the scale because they have all these heroes in this universe, but because it does follow a single narrative around Mark Grayson, aka Invincible, as the series title would imply, it really lets you focus in on this one story. And while there are some other tie-in books, specifically the Invincible Universe series, which does focus on some of the more minor characters, it doesn't take away from Mark's story. And Mark goes from just a regular teenage kid to this super powerful superhero and then the entire story just turns not into a superhero story and it instead just becomes sci-fi space which is actually really cool but then he gets mature and at points he goes dark not necessarily a villain but in Invincible the line between good and evil is very blurry very gray in which I like that presentation because sometimes one of the main core points of Invincible is that sometimes you have to do what is perceived as evil for the greater good. For the greater good. Yeah, da, da, da. Hot buzz joke. Invincible is a fantastic series and it is funny too. There are a lot of comedic moments, but it's not all LOL random in your face. The jokes are there when they need to be and they help complement the story. There are plenty of comedic moments which help mellow out the more serious aspects whenever the story really gets super dark. Now, I will admit that the story isn't that gripping at first, but you need to stick with it. I think the story's good at first, don't get me wrong, but I think after volume 5, that's the point I tell people. When I lend out, I lend out the entire comic book series because I lend out 1 through 5 at one time. Once you reach volume 5's ending, I tell everybody this, you will come back and demand every other volume of Invincible. And every time that I've lent it out, they have demanded all of it, because it is that good. Everybody that I get into Invincible, it becomes one of their favorite things of all time. And I just want to share that with more people. It's a real shame that Invincible isn't more popular. Now granted, it has a pretty big underground following, but that's only really within comic book reading circles, which isn't that big. The main reason why Invincible isn't popular and Kirkman's other big property, Walking Dead, got really took off is, I think, because of The Walking Dead TV show. Now, don't get me wrong, I love The Walking Dead because, again, Kirkman's a great writer, and The Walking Dead TV show is also fantastic. But, Image slash Skybound, the guys who publish Invincible, if you could, like, make a Invincible movie 
or a TV show or a video game or something, even though I know the budget would be ridiculous to make that happen. Um, I'm not saying I would buy every ticket or every copy, but I'm also not saying <laughs> that I would buy every ticket and or every copy. Just Invincible is so good. It needs to expand out there. MTV did these series of uh, like motion comics that were really well done, and I'm actually surprised that those didn't take off further than they did, but that's mainly because they didn't get into the meat of the story. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are probably noticing that I'm not talking about the story so much, and that's because <sighs> it's really hard to talk about, because Invincible is based around reveals and plot twists, that if I go into talking about it, I can't get into the main hook of the story without spoiling one of the biggest plot twists of the entire book. But trust me when I say that it is worth it. For other reading recommendation videos, if you guys like this, I will probably go into more story details, but that's Invincible goes in you go in best for it, like the movie Cabin in the Woods. The less you know going in, the better. But the problem is I also don't want to try to overhype this. And I do have a tendency to get really excited about things that I like, and sometimes it does lead to overhype. But try to go into it with an open mind. I really think that you will enjoy the book. Uh, the way that Image does their comics is that for the first trade, the first uh, few issues that are collected in uh, paperback, they are usually $10, which is a lot cheaper than the standard uh, go-around. And they, they do increase the price with Volume 2 on, but they want you to read more comics, which is why every series they have, it's $10 for their first book. I pick that one up, and if that looks cool, just know it's going to get even better. I would say that the beginning of the book is the worst part of Invincible because they aren't able to go into all the deep and dark and morally gray stuff. But it does get dark, it does get there despite how happy-go-lucky it seems at first. Give it a chance, I really don't think that um, you'll be upset. I think you'll enjoy it, if you like good writing that is. So. That's the first reading recommendation video that I'm doing. If you guys want more of these, then by all means, please let me know down there in the comments or by tweeting me at Trailer Drake. There are a lot of books that I read all the time that I just can't talk about because they do not get clicks on this channel. So that's why I'm going to have to revert uh, to some hyperbole or clickbaiting titles because nobody will click these otherwise. So just know that going in. If you like this video, then I also do character histories and trivia and other fun stuff here on the channel. So maybe click another one, watch more videos if you like. And if you really do like what you see, then I would love it if you considered subscribing or going to my Patreon. I have all sorts of amazing perks and, and uh, benefits that my patrons do get to experience, such as bonus content and uh, exclusive Discord chat and shoutouts like this one. Hey, Tim Willis, you're awesome. Hey, Ed Gravelos, you're awesome. And we also have more people down there in the description below that have contributed via Patreon. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. And if you want to see more, let me know. Bye.